Today I'm going to be designing a wedding card, so I'm going to click on New Project. I always like to change my grid, so I'm going to go to Settings and go to Partial Grid. I'm going to use a hot air balloon, and I don't believe I have one, so I'm going to go to Images and find one from Cricut. The card base I'm going to make out of a shape with a square. I'll unlock that. I want to make my width 3.25 and my height 5. I know this one is going to be white. I'm going to be cutting the the hearts and the balloon shape itself out of gold foil and then I have some pretty cardstock by my mind's eye that I think I'll layer behind the balloon. I'm also going to cut the word love out of gold foil, but I want the font to be a little different. I'm going to use something I already own. So here I'm going to move the letters around and connect them. And I'm going to make sure that they're grouped together. And then I'm going to individually change each of these colors over to gold because these letters I'm going to be cutting out of the gold foil. I'm also going to change this outer layer or the top layer of the hot air balloon to be that same gold color because that's also going to be cut out from the gold foil as well. Now I'm just seeing how everything fits onto the card because I have more of a sentiment that I'm actually going to have the Cricut write out. That phrase is going to be, is in the air. And that I'm going to choose a font that I've already purchased from Cricut. It's a writing font called Adelaide. And so here I'm just connecting the letters so that when they are drawn out, it'll be nice and smooth. And I'm going to use an American Crafts black precision pen to write out this text. Now I decided I wanted to add a cloud to the background. This is from American Crafts, the Neapolitan collection. I'm only going to do the cutout shape, not the print and cut image, because I just want to be able to cut out a cloud from some white cardstock. And so I'm just saving that as a cut shape or a cut file uh, to add to my card here. So this is where I decided I actually wanted to have two of those. And I'm changing the color to both of these clouds to white um, since it's going to be cut out from white cardstock. Every color that you have on your uh, page is actually the color 
cardstock that Cricut will cut it from. It'll put those onto a similar mat for you so that you don't have to separate everything out by colors. It automatically figures it out when you put everything um, with similar colors on the mat like this. Now I decided to change that card size a little bit and now I'm going to start the printing process. First I need to purchase that balloon and the first thing it's going to do is write is in the air and then it's going to cut out the white background and it's also going to cut out the matching clouds and those are all going to be cut out from the same one. Now it's telling me to load midnight pen in clamp A. Mine's actually a black pen, um, but it says midnight because that's the color I had actually selected um, when I was printing out that font. But it'll do whatever color pen you actually put in your pen holder. So the attachment I'm using is the actual pen attachment um, that came with the machine from Cricut. And this is an American Crafts uh, precision pen. The tip size is, I think, 03. And uh, this particular pen I picked up in a set of five at Tuesday morning. So now it's gonna go on to the next page. And this one is actually just going to be some cardstock that I'm cutting out from my mind's eye. So it set it as a separate color. Um, that's just the default color that came with the image itself. It really didn't matter since my own cardstock is going in here. Last but not least that I'm going to cut out is the gold foil. So I turned my dial on the Cricut to custom and I clicked view all and I'm going all the way down to, I think, vinyl or other, because this foil is um, a specific foil by Cricut. So I chose that one, and it does cut all the way through the foil as well as the backing when you use this particular setting. If you use just the vinyl setting, it'll only cut out um, the foil part itself and not the backing. So it just depends on the purpose of what you want to use it for. I wanted it to cut both because I needed to lay out these pieces on my card before I set them down. So I didn't want them all sticky. So that's why I chose this particular setting so that it would cut all the way through. Now this is the part where I got a little scared because as it was cutting, I saw my little L just twirling around like crazy. It actually came off the backing. But when I actually put it down on my card, it turned out perfect. I could still use it. It was no problem. So I'm using the rest of the scrap of that paper as my background. I decided to go with that and then to trim down this white a little bit so that the clouds could stand out by having a contrasting background with the pink. And now I'm just laying down my pieces. You'll see I still have the backing and now I'm gonna take that backing off of the vinyl foil. I decided that I want the little heart part to show up as pink, so I'm gonna flip that one over, but I'm going to keep the florals for the front part of the balloon itself. Now I'll just add some of this foam to let the balloon stand up. I'm just going to cut that into a couple of pieces and also adhere a little piece onto the basket itself. With the foam dots, I can now decide where I want to put these clouds. From start to finish, this card probably took me a little bit under one hour to make. 
So it's really nice when a project works on the first try and I was really happy with how it turned out. All the materials for this project will be listed below. Um, it's my mind's eye paper, uh, gold foil from Cricut, and then the pen that I used was from American Crafts. I'll also link where you can purchase that font if you like the, the writing font that's provided on the Cricut machine as well. If you like to see more projects like this card, please give this video a thumbs up. Please like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you on our next project. Have a great week.